All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how you can create a music app, um, more specifically an audio streaming app that'll play music on demand from your web server. All right, so I um, actually have these five audio tracks that I just got from freesound.org, and uh, I put them on my web server, just a simple GoDaddy web server. And I'm going to show you how you can kind of play them. Let's just listen to one. They're just most of them are just short, kind of 10-second clips, but just to kind of give you an example. All right, so go out here. So let's build our interface first. So we're going to add uh, use a couple images to help build our interface. I have these three buttons here that I just got from um, the web, and throw them over here. I'll include all the whole project um, in the description. I'll have a link to it. I hit finish. And let's let's start to build our interface. So we have a single view project here and we're going to add a table view. Right? Not a table view controller, just a table view. And let's throw it in here. We're going to resize it. We don't want it to take up the whole space here. Um, something like that's fine. And we're going to add a cell. There we go. Okay. Um, let's add some buttons for our stop and play, right? So let's go buttons. And I'll put one right over there. We're not going to have the word. We're going to use our image. So come over here and we'll go to default image. This will be our play button. And then actually we can just command D to duplicate, put it right next to it. And we'll make this one our stop. And the pause will take place when it's playing. You'll have the option to pause it. And that image will come up. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to use a few labels as well to um, show some information about the tracks. This right here is going to actually be our letting us know that the time, um, how much, how long the track is and how far we are in. We're going to have a little, you know, timer that shows that, which is a nice feature to have for something like this. This will be uh, the number the place. So like, you know, if we have 10 tracks, it'll be on track two, you know, or whatever. Um, then we're going to have the name of the track show here. Make this a little longer in case the name's longer. Track name. Um, and then we're going to have just one more little one here that lets us know if we're buffering. All right, so that'll be for our, our buffering. Okay. All right, so I think that's that's all we need now. So let's create. Um, uh, whenever we create our table, we need to create our, our delegates for the table. That we, the table is going to control the data source and delegate. So we should be able to go over here and see that, yeah, that looks good there. Um, and for our cell, we want to give it a name. I'm just going to call it my cell, capital C. And so now we can we can actually create our outlet. So let's go ahead and Make sure we're in the view controller H and I'm going to put some space down here. I'd already created this, so I'm going to just grab um, some stuff from here, make it life a little easier, paste it in here. Uh, let's bring this up a little bit. Um, so on the let me drag this out so you can see this a little better. On the top line here, you have to have your, say that your table has a data source and a delegate. That's what we made the connections here, right? Let's go ahead and drag these over. Our label right there. Our status label. That's good. So we got our status label there. That's going to let us know if we're buffering. Then our label, which should give us the time. Um, we're going to need an IB action for the stop. That's right here. Um, this is our play button outlet. So connect it there. 
um, but we also need to make that an action as well. Um, we need the start button to be an outlet uh, as well as an action because we need to change the image to, from pause to play. Uh, I'll explain that more. Um, song label and then the song number, right? And then our actual table view. All right, so everything should be connected now. So, yep, good. All right, so we can get out of this and let's go ahead into our view controller M and we need to synthesize everything. Again, just to make life easier, I'm gonna grab since I've already done this. Okay, so let me review what I just did. I threw a decent amount of code here in the implementation file. Um, the, the two uh, variables that we're using right now are this NSRA songs and this Boolean start music. Um, these other Booleans we'll get into. That's going to have to do with the uh, music functionality. But for right now, um, we're, we're uh, setting start music to no. And we have the songs array just set to this kind of... Um, you know, this would be up to you. Uh, right now, I just have one set of music, but you might have cool beats, slow jams, you know, whatever. Um, and then for each of them, when you click on it, it takes you to a different set of music. That's the idea behind this. Um, and then this is where you would actually um, reset the table to that music. And if you had more than one type of music, you might have like some variables in here. If, you know, list equals one, then show this for the array. If list equals two, you know, based upon this um, starting point of the array list. For right now, I'm just making this simple. We just have our cool beats, which I deemed it. Um, and so this is your standard table method that basically is going to let us know how many items in our array and set the table accordingly. Um, and then we are going to get the um, names of each element in our uh, songs array list and put them in each cell. So the first time we run this, it's just going to say cool beats. And then when I click on cool beats, it should come to here. And that functionality is right here. So this method here is did we select a row? And if we did, let's do something. That's basically what's happening. So if start music app is equal to no, which it is in the beginning, then we're going to go in and Click, uh, we're going to call the reset list method, which will now reset our songs array to equal these items. And these are, um, remember, equal to these uh, MP3s that I had. All right. And else, um, we're just going to, this is going to have to do with uh, some music playing feature. You don't have to worry about this right now. Um, so let's just make sure that functionality works. When we hit play, All right, so you can see now if the word cool beats comes up, we click on it and we see our list of songs. And nothing happens yet, and then we're going to add that functionality next.